Hello, welcome back again. And uh, today I'm gonna re gonna be uh, reviewing uh, Waves with their King of the Beach album. Now this uh, album has twelve, twelve amazing tracks. Um, it's kind of like uh, sort of I don't know if you want to call it like post-acid pop rock that's <clears throat> even a fucking genre this day and age but it's like uh it's kind of like kind of reminds me a bit of uh butthole surfers um it's it's good stoner music uh it's good music in general uh you could just fucking hate this album and still love it at the same time so let's get into it uh this release is a digipack I, I know I hate Digipacks, but uh, I have some exceptions for albums. That's the inside artwork. These are credits. Oh, I never realized this at first, but there's actually a little booklet in here. Come on, motherfucker. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, shit, it's actually a poster. Oh, shit, okay. Oh, sweet. It's a little... Oh, nice. Double side, little double-sided poster we got there. That's pretty fucking dope right there. Wow, I never knew that. Till recording this video. <laughs> but I don't use the posters that come in any, like, the CDs or vinyl, because I'm... I keep everything, uh, you know, minty as possible, because, you know, I, I just love, kind of, uh, OCD about that. And, uh, yeah. Turn around, you got Cane of the Beach, Super Soaker, Idiot, which is my favorite track on this album. Uh, that and Green Eyes are my two favorite tracks on this album. Uh, When Will You Come, Post Acid, Take on the World. Uh, baseball cards, convertible balloon, green eyes, Mickey Mouse, line of space head, and baby say goodbye. So uh, yeah, that is uh, Waves with uh, their King of the Beach album.